Fresh One UI 8.5 firmware unveils more visual upgrades. Samsung is steadily fine-tuning One UI 8.5 and a newer build has appeared, highlighting further tweaks and refinements. Because the update is still in its early development phase, the first leaked firmware had several rough edges including incomplete icons and minor visual glitches. In this latest version, Samsung has addressed many of those issues. For instance, the quick panel's widget list buttons, previously looking out of place, now have a cleaner and more polished appearance. Here are some of the visible changes in the new One UI 8.5 build. The digital well-being app now features larger buttons. While editing the lock screen, tapping the app shortcut in the corner now opens a full pop-up list of available apps. The phone app's bottom bar has switched to an icon-only design. In this build, the bar extends across the full width of the screen, even though the buttons still take up only part of that space. The weather app follows the settings app's new style. When you tap the search icon, the search bar moves to the bottom. Samsung has also highlighted the location name at the top by placing it inside a box for better visibility. The gallery app's Galaxy A iPhoto editing menu has been restyled and the bottom navigation bar now shows all tab names without requiring you to scroll. In apps like weather, settings, and gallery, Samsung has added a subtle gradient effect at the top and bottom, giving a faint preview of the next item as you scroll. The screen recorder menu has been redesigned with larger buttons, and each option now includes an icon that visually explains its function. Credit goes to Sam Mobile. You can find the article link in the description, so don't forget to check it out. One UI 8.5 is no longer limited to upcoming flagships. It's officially in the works for Galaxy S24. Samsung has already begun development on the One UI 8.5 update, and now the testing appears to be expanding to more devices. Previously, early builds of One UI 8.5 were spotted for the Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S26 series, but fresh reports confirm that Samsung has also started internal testing for the Galaxy S24 lineup. Tipster Tyron Vats recently revealed the very first One UI 8.5 test build for the Galaxy S24 Plus. The firmware version is S926BXXU9DYIA, linked to the international model. This clearly indicates that Samsung is now running trials on current gen phones, not just future releases. And that's everything. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech updates just like this. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these new design changes, so make sure to drop a comment below. That's all for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.